What's up guys, Dynamite Man's UGI here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! In the last episode, we made it through the cathedral, which had an underground passage, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the boss. Uh-oh. But first, um, yeah, time to take out these guys, I guess. Ah, nice. <laughs> so, yeah, so one thing that I failed to mention about, uh, um, the hench is that they, they have a very high critical hit ratio, so they'll knock you flying all over the damn place all the time. So I would actually, um, recommend doing, uh, Fire World to these guys and sending, um, Frog to take out the hench. Because the Negats are kind of annoying because they have slow... You take them out quickly, then you have nothing to worry about. But then, like I was saying before, hench can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. But take them out quickly, and you should have no problem. Boom goes dynamite. I gotta wonder, what is wrong with, like, Frog's arm there? It's, like, flexing, but it's, like, it's twice as big as it should be. That's weird. Oh well. Alright, let's head up through these doors. Prepare yourself, Queen Lane! Uh oh. You! How did you get in here? Frog! Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Oh boy. It's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. That includes you, dude. Stupid frog, it's time you jumped off this mortal coil. True form, change! For boss time! Yakra. Start off everything with a cross slash. Drop down his life as much as you possibly can, and bam! Drew. Yeah, this hits all enemies, uh, all tar or all like all of your target or whatever. So I'm actually going to wait for um for Luca to charge up her thing and heal up Chrono here because Chrono's got little life and we're going to use Fire Whirl. Slurp cut out to do it now. Yeah, this guy, when I first saw this, I was just amazed at how, like, you know, how they just throw you into a boss battle like this. It's, he's kind of tough. Needle attack. Ow. Yeah, that does 45 damage. Can't counterattack me. Uh, let's do another f uh, flame whirl and get another uh, slurp going on for um, Kano there. He's the one that's getting the most damage dealt to him, admittedly. Bam. So heal him up nice. Another extra I gotta do for Chrono. Let's see here. Flame toss. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's toss a tonic on uh, Luca there. And attack with Frog. Yikes. Now, Crown is getting a little weak there. We're going to heal him up again. And down he goes. Nice. 
50 experience points, 5 tech points, 600 gold. Luca leveled up. Nice. Okay, the reason... Oh. Yay! I thank thee, Chrono and Luca. It's supposed to be you! Nah. Okay, so the reason why I, um, said to pick up the revive was because, um, the last time I played this, uh, I lost it in, uh, an ally. There's a Chancellor hidden in a treasure chest. And a mid ether Which I mean, you know, it's probably like a high, po you know. Or like a mega ether Axe either. Alright, let me jump back to this. You hast. You have. I, I have. Whatever. So that's the end of Frog. I'm tired of dealing with him. He's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Especially the way he talks. Okay. Uh oh. Find her! Oh, just in time. What are the odds? And she's in her normal clothing. What happened? That's disturbing. Busted! The 33rd. You just wanted to put those X's all together, didn't you? Oh, jeez. Alright, time to go home. Alright, let's head down here. And actually, what I would like to do before we leave is take this time to go through these doors. Oh, frog! Twas a fault of mine, which endangered the queen. I shall depart for good. That <laughs> eh, frog is alright, I suppose. But well, that's why I didn't give him that power tab earlier, because, yeah, he leaves the party. Not such a bad guy after all. Okay, we're going to head over here and we're going to get some rest. Because, for whatever damn reason, the game does not heal you here. Yes, I want to snooze. All right, let's go. Okay, now let me see here. I do believe we could pick up a bow in, at the market there on the other side of the forest before we head back. <clears throat> As we might need that for later. All right, Guardia Forest, here we come. These douchebags again. Alright, let's take them out. Bam! Boom goes dynamite. And like I was saying before, Luke, uh, Marley's got pretty good aim with that uh, crossbow there. But then again, so does Luca. 
I mean, they're pretty good party members in general, but Chrono, of course, being the warrior of the group, gets in a higher attack. And I assume that Luca's supposed to be like the black mage, you know, using the magic more, you know, her her tech more than the others. Look at these guys. Blue eaglets. You missed. Oh, I guess not. Usually, like, what a missing sound sounds like, huh? Did you just conk it over the head with your bow? I'll ignore that in the background. That's my printer. Ah, Marley learns Aura, and we can use Aura Whirl, which is kind of the same as a um, Flame Whirl, but of course it's water based. And of course, water is the um, the healing mad or the healing tech in this game, which would go without saying. No, but we can get her the Karate Gi and everyone one of these. Um, let's do that. Let's pick up that, and three of these. I don't think we should... Well, let's pick up a couple shelters, too. Why not? Revive, no. Tonic? I like to keep around 10 because I heal 50. I mean, that's pretty good. I haven't need to use a heal yet, so I'm not going to bother with that. As we're selling things, um, maybe in the next town. Um, okay, let's, let's equip some stuff here. Okay, we're going to want to um, get the bronze home on uh, Chrono there, as well as for uh, Luca. The hide cap. Yeah, the hide cap is not really that useful. I'm going to get the crowd again on her as well. Now she's stronger than she was before. Can we bring up her... Um, now that ribbon is good for her hit ratio, so I'm going to keep it there. Alright, let's head out. That was a residence place. Let's check this out real quick. Banta, the blacksmith. Huh. Oh, that's Celine's bell. Okay, I see what they were doing there. Okay, I get it. Alright, head back to Truce Canyon. Avoid these guys. Head up here. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's a pulley. And there's a green imp behind me. Ah, dude, quit throwing your nuts at me. That's not cool. Oh, I got trampled on. 14, wow. Alright, took care of him. Dude, yeah, pulleys are really, uh, are a lot faster than rollies are. They don't need to take that much time to engage their attack. But a well-placed hit will take them out quite quickly. Alright. Let's go. Oops. Yeah, we need to go this way. <coughs> Marley. Observe! You're a little cocky, aren't you? Huh. Yeah, you wouldn't hear that in any other game, now would you? It's a gate. Okay, to a different era. So does that mean that there are multiple eras that we need to travel through? Alright. Okay, enough talking now. Let's do this. And that's the end of this portion of the game. Because we're traveling through space and time!
Everyone climbs out. I think it's no big freaking deal. Alright, let's continue home. Okay, um... There shouldn't be... Oh, whatever. A whole lot left that we have to do here. So I assume it's the same day. Do you have anything else I could take? Uh, not yet. But man, does that bring up my... Strength. Uh, no. Whoa, that was kind of creepy. Where that guy kind of just jumped out at me like that. One more time. There we go. Oh, whatever. Okay, I think that's everything we can do, so I'm going to head up this way. market here. What's this? What's another residence? Whatever. Okay, let's head through the Guardia Forest. So it's been a while since we've been here. Um, not literally, but like time-wise. And there are polies everywhere instead of rollies. And these guys. Let's show these guys off. <coughs> So this guy kind of summons enemies. So I'm going to show off uh, Auto World here. Which heals everyone. Which is nice. I'm going to attack this Avion Chaos thing. Because we don't need to deal with him. Hey now. And there they go. So I assume that if you leave him hanging around for too long, he summons more enemies, but I didn't let that happen. Go! Okay, I'm gonna show off. Oh, I don't have it yet. Let's just show off Cyclone here then. A Hitaki. Which is named after the Hitaki mushroom that causes you to hallucinate. Which is interesting. It's also the mushroom that's, um, that the, um, the super mushroom is named after. And we learned Slash! I'll be sure to show that off in the next battle. Okay. A chancellor. Another one. You, you, she wasn't abducted. I'm not a scoundrel. No. I'm not a terror terrorist. Uh oh. Oh god. What kind of trouble did I get into this time? Do you know who to obey? Really? Oh, for crying out loud. Alright, so here is the trial. And. I'm actually going to be saving this part for the next one. So I guess if you like this part, rate, comment, subscribe. Do whatever the hell you want. This has been Dynamite Man ZGI. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright. Take care, y'all.